Hello guys, I am back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2008. The given question is, uh, consider the following relational schema. Okay, so they give four tables here. Oh my god, okay. And they underlined the primary key. And they are asking what will be the output of the given query. Okay, so I think that output the query will be in the next page, right? Yes, okay. So here is the query guys. Okay, so this is really a huge query, right? Okay, so they are using a school table, enrolled table, exam result table. And what else tables they are using? They are using uh, student table also. So indirectly all tables are being used, right? Okay, so now I need to write an example for this. Sir. Okay, so let us do what can we do other than that, right? Yes. Or can we analyze this expression? So let us first try to understand it, guys. So what exactly they are trying to do? Okay, so in school table, so in school table, we are having a school ID, okay, we are having a school roll number and these two are the primary keys, along with this we are having marks, sorry, my bad, we are having a student, right, we are having a S name, it might be student name and student address, so these are the four parameters which are available in this particular school table, so here we are selecting a school ID, okay, so we are selecting the school ID from student table, group by school id so i think there are multiple schools or sorry there are multiple students in a single school right so we are combining them all okay and group by school id so basically assume this is id 1 id 2 okay so now we are checking having a count so we are counting the number of students in that thing and we are selecting only the uh, the schools which are having greater than 200 students group by school id okay so this is the query here so once this query is done, what we will get as an output guys, so the count of students, count of students greater than 200, so greater than 200, if the students of students count is there, so that school ID, so we will get as an output from here, right, yes, and now moving on, so assume that those IDs are 1 and 2 guys, so assume that in 1, there are 202 students, and in 2, there are 201 students, and in 3 there are 99 students and in 4 there is only 1 student. So assume that this is our database. Okay. Yes. So now we got 1 and 2 as a result here. Right. Yes. So now what we are doing is select school name and we are counting something. Okay. From school C, enrollment E and exam result R where school ID is equal to C dot school ID. So we are checking the school ID. Okay. The school ID with the, sorry, enrollment with the school ID. So in enrollment, we are having school ID and in students, we are having school ID and in school also, we are having school ID. So we are comparing this school ID with this school ID and we are creating a table, right? Yes. And similarly, we are going to create a table with the E dot exam name means enrollment dot exam name. Okay. With the R dot exam name that is nothing but exam result dot exam name okay so we are creating a table by combining these two and similarly e dot roll number okay so we are comparing with again with e dot roll number so e means here what guys enrollment so e roll number with this e roll number right okay and at the end after doing that all things now we are checking whether r dot marks is equals to so the student result marks is equals to 100 so means exactly 100 students we are trying to find and that student should belongs to these one and two school and we are going to group them by school okay so now i understood what exactly they are trying to do here right yes okay so i understood that what exactly they are trying to do but i noticed a small mistake here guys so when it comes to this thing so here they are trying to select school names and they are trying to group by school ID guys. So I think these type of things are not uh, correct right. So if you are trying to group by something you need to select that only. And if you are going to select by something you need to group by that only right. Yes. So let us check the options anyway. So the thing which I understood here is. So here the inner query is selecting the schools IDs which are having greater than 200 students. Okay, so once this particular thing is done, so now they are checking the students in these schools, in those top schools, who got 100% score or 100 marks in the exam. So that's what they want to do. But this is a small silly mistake which I have noticed, right? Yes. So now let us go through the, op the options. 
So option A says that for each school with more than 200 students, that's correct, appearing in the exam, the name of the school and the number of 100 scored students in it. Yes. So this is what they do. They want to do, right? Exactly. Yes. So let us go through option B. For each school with more than 100 students in it, the name of the school and the number of 100 scored by the student. Okay. So what is the difference in between these two? Appear, appearing in exam so more than 200 students appearing in the exam more than 200 students in it okay yes so this option is wrong guys because we are just counting how many students are inside it right so here we are just counting that number that's it right yes so and here we are using student table and we are not using that exam table so if we use the exam or enrolled table so then we can find how many students are enrolled for that particular exam but we are not using that right yes so option a is wrong even uh, I am 100% sure that option A is wrong because it, there is an error and that is not exactly saying the working of this thing, right? Yes, option B could be the correct answer. Let us go through option C. So for each school with more than 200 students in it, the name of the school and the number of students scoring 100 in at least one exam. Okay, so if there are multiple exams. Okay, so if there are multiple exams. Okay, so here we are checking only R dot name. So indirectly, if there are multiple exams with that same uh, in the same school, and if you can write it, so then option C will be the most appropriate right answer, right? Yes, but to be clear, there is a particular error in this code. So option D will be the correct answer. Got it? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this, right? Yes. So this is a type of a difficult level question if you want to say in terms of difficulty because the query is that much bigger right? so it's really large and with a bug in it like there is an error in it right yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question guys and to be clear if this is a if here if they write a school name or here if they write a school id the option three will be the correct answer option c will be the correct answer got it yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next question let us continue with the next question okay mm -hmm. yes Okay, so let us make the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.